Customer support teams deals with hundreds of repetitive queries every single day, whether these are password reset, billing issues, or troubleshooting steps. My name is Farhan Hussein, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to build a simple tool that uses OpenAI's GPT model and Azure communication services to automatically generate a response and send a smart reply. Whether you are using this for an experiment, experimentation or just testing out how AI automation works, this is a perfect starter project for you. So let's take a look at this demo. Here we have our recipient email. I just put my personal email address here, then the email subject, and here our customer query. This query can come from pretty much anywhere. It can be an email, it can be a support ticket, or it can be any other platform. Here, keeping things simple, I'm just going to say, customer wants to know how to upload a profile picture. Then I will click generate reply. Here it's using OpenAI's GPT model to generate a response. This is the email body which we are going to be sending. This is editable, so if you wanted to change something, you could easily do it or just check, uh, making sure to check everything before sending it. This looks pretty good. And now let's send this email. So we'll click send email. Now it is using Azure Communication Services email to automatically send this email to that customer. So email was sent successfully. And if I can check here, yes, this email we got here. So how did we build this? Well, let's start getting into coding. Our app has two components. The first one is OpenAI's GPT model. It is used to generate a response and then Azure Communication Services to send that email. Let's go and create our first resource. Uh, head over to portal.azure.com and if this is the first time you're visiting, it, you, it will ask you to create an account. Go ahead and create an account. Once you have created an account, head over to um, create a resource and here uh, type in OpenAI and click Azure OpenAI and let's create the resource. Uh, here you you will have to select your subscription. Make sure that you have a subscription. Uh, it is pretty easy to create one. When Also when you start an uh, account, it will ask you to create a subscription. So go ahead and do that. Uh, select your subscription, then select your resource group. If this is the first time you're doing this, uh, you can create a, a new resource group. Here you can select your region. There are multiple uh, regions. And then a name and a pricing tier. And here I'm gonna select standard as zero. Uh, this you can view the full price details uh, by clicking this link here. I'm going to say email app and then click next. Here I'm going to select all network including um, all networks including the internet can access this resource. Click next, put tags and if everything looks good, go ahead and create that resource. Since I've already created a resource, I'm just going to take a look at that. Here is my resource. Once you have created a resource, this is what you will see. Uh, head over to Ex Explore, Explore Azure AI Foundry Portal. You can also visit this site by uh, typing uh, openai.oai.azure.com and it, you will come to the same uh, area. Here, what we want to do is we want to click on deployment. So go ahead and click on deployments on the left-hand side here, and then click deploy model. Here, we're going to cl uh, click deploy base model. There are multiple models here uh, for you to pick from OpenAI's uh, inventory. Uh, they, all are, they all vary in pricing and their intelligence. Uh, this is, since a very simple uh, demo, uh, I'm going to be uh, selecting GPT 4.1 mini and then click confirm. And then, uh, in fact, I would, I've, since I've already created one, uh, let me just do it again. GPT 4.0 mini. Here, click confirm and then here uh, click the deploy button. So since I've already uh, created one, you can just go ahead and click on that. Uh, we are going to be using the keys. This is why it's important to create, uh, deploy our model. 
So now that we are done with uh, creating our uh, OpenAI, um, Azure OpenAI resource, which is going to be required for um, generating a response, the next uh, resource which we want to create is Azure Communication Services. This is going to be for uh, sending out the email. So go ahead and click on create a resource here, communication services, communication services and create. The process is pretty similar for almost every resource. Uh, you create a resource group, resource name, date location, and click next tags. And if everything looks good, you can just go ahead and click create. Uh, since I've already done this, I'm going to be using uh, the one that I've already created. The next resource which we are going to create is an email communication uh, resource. By default, Azure Communication Services does not create an email uh, resource. So this is why it's important to create um, an email communications uh, resource. So the same thing here, we write email communication services and email con communication services. So the process again is going to be very similar for all of them. Okay, and pretty much review, next. And if everything looks good, you can go ahead and click create. So once we have all of these three resources, what we're going to be requiring from them are the keys and endpoint. So pretty much we are done with the basics. Now we will uh, be using uh, VS Code to code our project. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using VS Code. Uh, you can pick any ID you prefer, but I pick uh, VS Code. I've already set up uh, two files. One is the .enme file. This is our this is going to host our environment variables, and the other is app.py file. For now, let's just ignore the known UI file. Uh, I'm going to copy paste some of the things that which we require, the environment variables which we require. We have the ACS connection string, ACS sender email, open AI API key, open AI endpoint, and recipient email. So let's see uh, where we can get this. Starting off with ACS connection string, let's go to our uh, communication service uh, resource here and on the left side clicking on keys here we have our connection string uh, string so this is what we are required next is the ACS sender email uh, we'll head back to portal click on our email communication service this time and here uh, since we require a domain to send emails from there are two ways of doing this one is through a free azure subdomain and another is setting up your own custom uh, domain we have a, a video on how to set up a custom domain which will be provided in the description box below uh, for now uh, we will use the one um, the free subdomain i have already done this you can simply click by clicking add domain and click on your azure managed domain and then on the left hand side mail from address so this is our um, ACS sender email. It will always start from a do not reply email uh, because at this moment, uh, we currently uh, do not um, allow receiving of uh, emails for an Azure subdomain. Uh, it, it, it will change in the future. But for now, this is the uh, email you are going to be sending out emails from. And then we have OpenAI API key. This will head back to portal and then to our Azure OpenAI uh, resource. And then on the left-hand side, we have keys and endpoint. So this is going to be our uh, key and this is our endpoint. And finally, we have the recipient email uh, here. I'm just going to be putting my own email address. You can set it up on however uh, you want to do. So these are all of our environment variables which we require. Uh, keep in mind that the entire project will be provided uh, in the GitHub repo. Uh, in the description box below so you can check it out uh, there and finally we'll move on to our um, app.py logic this is the logic of our app um, first we are importing the libraries uh, here uh, this all of them pretty much the os is for our environment variables then the lo uh, the dot env file and then we have import streamlit uh, this is the ui framework which i have used uh, this is where the non-ui 
.py file comes in if you prefer to use your own uh, UI framework or you don't want to have any UI just simply wanted to run it via terminal you can do this via the non UI uh, file and then we are uh, we simply have libraries for OpenAI and from Azure communication services we are importing the email client and here we are simply reading the .env file and then we have uh, we are initializing the clients here uh, we have the Azure OpenAI. This is where we have the API key, the API version, and the OpenAI endpoint. Uh, to see to get this uh, API version, you have to head back to um, head back to uh, OpenAI.Azure.com, and on the left hand side, you click on Deployments. Go back to GPT-40 Mini, and this is you. You're going to be uh, your API version. So whatever model you have picked, you can see your API version from here so once that is done um, here we are basically uh, setting up the web UI this is the streamlit framework and this is the user input so finally the the generate button this is what the generate button does uh, we make sure that the user has at least um, uh, entered a query first um, and once that is done we simply show some generating um, a text message and then we have the actual chat.completion create this is the important section and this is where you are going to be giving um, the system how to uh, behave so here I have said you are a support agent respond only with the email body no intro like sure the only reason why I wrote sure because every time uh, when I was testing it out it would start off with sure so I made <laughs> I made sure that it does not respond with that and only with the email body and once we have that we store it in a draft the the raw AI output so we can uh, use it uh, further so here we are checking um, if you have generated the draft and displaying a editable uh, text area so this is where you if you wanted to edit something um, we will be doing it here and this is the final uh, send button this is basically what sends the email this is the important aspect so this is the the JSON payload that the ACS SDK expects and here we are simply sending the email and then waiting for the uh, the service to respond and if everything goes good we uh, show the email being sent we say email sent in the ID and the status as success so this was the entire app uh, what I did was I separated um, the generation and sending button but if you want to, you can have this entirely in one go um, if you don't even want to have an editable area. So you can just make in such a way that it generates and sends the email. And again, this is our final um, AI powered support email. Again, we can simply have a email. I'll put my email and then say the customer forgot how to reset the password and we can simply generate a reply the other thing which um, uh, as this was a starter project but if you want to you can make make it have that it only knows your own data so your own product that way it can respond very specifically to how you want your customers uh, to see it so this is what and finally we can send it here so this was the uh, the starter project for you to check out how AI automation uh, works and this is definitely a great starter project and in the future we are going to be uh, uh, having more uh, projects like this so make sure you're subscribed for that.